morning. Good morning. With all the charges against Kelly, he could face a combined sentence of 40 years in prison. But he's told NBC4 repeatedly that he's innocent and he expects to prove it in court. In all, Kelly faces 25 charges, including theft, tampering with evidence, money laundering, and engaging in a pattern of corrupt activity. A jury was selected yesterday for this trial, but it wasn't easy. Many people said they either knew Kelly, followed his Facebook page or had already made up their mind about whether he was guilty. The defense and prosecution are expected to each call about 20 witnesses. The judge says the trial could take about two weeks. Now court starts this morning at 845 and many county and city officials are expected to be called in as witnesses. Reporting live from the newsroom, Katie Love, NBC4. Well, we've got a lot of people out here shoveling because there is a good amount of accumulation of snow here on people's neighboring lawns. You can see about two to three inches here. And when we're looking at the side streets, plows have made at least one or two passes, but you still have a good amount of ice here. So you're going to want to take it nice and slow. ODOT says they have been out in full force since late last night. They have almost all of their plows out, 137 trucks. Now, highways and major roads have mostly been cleared. Now, Nancy Burton with ODOT says the next step is to push the snow back from the shoulders to make sure there's room for emergency vehicles. While the snow warriors with the city of Columbus have finished plowing priority one routes like 315 and now are moving on to priority two. We talked to one woman this morning who says her commute into work was nothing close to fun. We've got some people plowing their driveways now. Eight year old Leah doing a great job right there. Now the ODOT spokesperson says the next plan is to monitor the weather to see if wind's going to be a major factor because then all of their hard work could be uh, for nothing if all the snow blows back onto the road. So they're going to be monitoring that live from Clintonville. Katie Love, NBC4. It's a lot easier to shovel when you can push it and not have to lift it. So I see their technique back there, Katie. All right, thanks. You know, there are several ways to let parents and students know when school is delayed or